No. Oh. Shark? Yeah, oh, shark got him. Oh my god. What's going on guys? Dark Sizzle here. Today we're doing some bridge fishing once again and we are the Krakenoom fishing team today. We had some issues with our engine this morning, got some new spark plugs in it and we're good to go. So there's slack tide here at the bridge right now so I decided to fish the pylons with a live pinfish and just got this beautiful mangrove snapper for dinner. I also heard there's some, man uh, some mutton snappers and permit being caught here so I figured I might as well try. Sure enough, got dinner on my first drop. Awesome. I don't know. It's going to the piling right over there. Oh no, it's a huge tarpon. Huge, huge tarpon. You didn't know he's up yet. Get a big guy. Get a big sizzle. To the right. Oh. You don't. All right. Just saw a bunch of tarpon rolling behind the boat. Really cool bunch of them. And then I just got a bite, like drifting it back 20 feet behind the boat. It was kind of weird, he kind of like just slowly rolled, kind of swam towards the piling. And then I saw the tarpon and he came up and kind of just came up and shook and he didn't really realize he was hooked yet. And then he just broke me off on another piling on the other side. So everything's gone, got to re-rig, get another one. Tarpon update on our fishing. And there's actually, there's a boat right behind us right now. They just had a tarpon hooked up and watched a huge hammerhead come up and eat their fish. And the tarpon jumped twice, airborne, trying to escape the jaws of the big hammerhead shark. But it didn't happen. But um, basically for us right now, we are zero and three for tarpon. Brian just hooked a fish a couple minutes ago when actually I was drinking some water. It was pretty funny. Try the boat. It's a small one. Small one. Ryan, what do you want me to do? He's up. I, I, get the yeah. boat, get the boat. I just turned Just hold it. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Three times now. Jumped a couple times and then broke the leader. And right now I'm just sending back my bait, see if I'm going to get a bite right now. I had a bite previously to that. What? And the same thing happened. This fish ended up breaking the leader. So that's basically zero for three. But we're getting some bites. And quite a few boats are hooking up all around us. So this is a good sign. The fish are starting to bite. We started with 60 pound fluoro. Got a bite on that. Decided to go ahead and drop down to 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. And now we got two bites on that within the last half hour. So we're still using that. If we get another break off, we're gonna go back up and increase our tackle again. But we're just trying to get those bites right now. And the fish today are very smart, it seems like. Any fish that we've hooked swim towards the boat. And literally one jumped that was hooked to our line right here by the side of the boat, which is really cool. Um, so now we're just going to try to see if we can get one and then keep that fish away from the shark that I just saw. You got to start the engine first. I'm tight. Ready? Don't run over my line. Go forward a little bit. It's right here. Oh, I'm hoping they're not on bottom. No, I got a fish. Oh, he dropped me on something on the bottom. All right, guys, I had a good bite there. It just went straight down to the bottom and frayed my leader off on it. Can't got one. I mean, I felt the fish, definitely a fish, went straight down to the bottom and it was wiggling down there, never jumped, and my leader was like totally frayed. So just got wrapped around something, uh, some sort of rock or something. So, um, so it's 0 for 4. Uh, the fish are biting you know, really up towards the front of this bridge. So as soon as they get a hit, as soon as they bite, they just go into the bridge somehow. Uh, last time we were here, they were biting towards the back. So um, so then they would just go shoot right at the back of the bridge into the flat back here, and that was a lot better. So everyone, I haven't seen one person catch a fish yet, but we're going to keep at it. We got more crabs. Woo! It's been a long 
time since I talked to you guys, but basically what happened was we went 0 for 4 on tarpon this afternoon, and we kind of gave up. It was getting really hot out there, and we decided to head in, and we also knew that we were going fishing this afternoon, so we went in, took a little nap, and now we're fishing with Captain Kevin and his friend Jessica, and we've got two lines out we're fishing, basically fishing the outgoing tide now, so we are fish we're fishing the opposite way. Haven't really fished this way with the outgoing tide yet, so I'm excited. Saw a bunch of tarpon rolling, uh, so now we just got our balloons out and we're waiting for a bite. Oh, there's 40 for you. Yep, that's what happened to us all afternoon. Wow. All right, my second drift once again. Hooked up on a fish there for just a second. The the balloon went up and down reeled and just popped just like that but that's 40 pound floor and we were using that all afternoon so i think uh we're gonna have to upgrade on this reel go to 60 50. Is this drag tight enough? I hope so. all right i just hooked the tarp and the sun just went down about 15 20 minutes ago and jessica hooked her fish about that long ago as well so I'm on a fish now, fish jumped, and I kind of even see my balloon go down. It was mostly just by feel, and kind of just felt the line smoking off the reel and close the bail and fish on. So, never caught one in the dark. Hopefully we can land this one. Never, like I said before, never caught a tarpon in the dark, so this is really different. I'm really used to having light and, you know, seeing the fish at all times. So this is really difficult. Oh, that's shiny. And we're just trying to keep a flashlight, like, on the line, see where he's going. And now he's by the old bridge right here. And uh, we're just, I'm just a little nervous now that he's over here and um, he could definitely break us off on structure. But... Been fighting the fish for a while now, 10, 15 minutes. And once again, thank you and a special shout out to Captain Kevin Rowley of Tighten Up Charters down here in the Lower Keys. And I'll have all his information linked down in the description below. But he'll put you on tarpon in the daylight, the nighttime, bonefish, sailfish, anything you want. You can catch a fish pretty much. So um, check him out if you're interested. But uh, now, we just gotta put some heat on this fish, I think, and uh, try to get him in before we exhaust him. All right, I just officially caught this fish according to tournament tarpon rules. I just got the leader through the tip of my rod, and that counts as a legal catch. And in a tarpon tournament, I think you would probably break the fish off and then get back to catching another one. So, uh, caught this fish finally. Been fighting him a good while now. Gone in and out of the old bridge a couple times. And this is actually a really big fish. He's not stopping. He's jumped a couple times. It's kind of hard to see in the dark, but I know it's a big fish. Oh. Oh. Shark? Yeah. Oh, shark got him. Oh my god. Trying to bite. Bite? Yeah. Right here. Right here. Should I open the bail? Oh my god. Right over here, just follow my line. Oh my god, I, I can't follow him. Hammerhead on my shark, on my <laughs> hammerhead on my tarpon right now. Trying to just get him in at this point. We are way out in the ocean. Oh. Oh. All right, that's okay. Caught him like three times. Fish is gone. We wanted to get him by the side of the boat, and Kevin kind of was thumbing the thumbing the uh, bringing him in, basically hand lining the leader, trying to get him in and put a hurt on him a little bit. Uh, but he actually just pulled the hook on us. So after probably like a 30 minute fight, I would say. But there was hammerheads in the area too, and uh, that was a really, really big fish. Probably the biggest one I've hooked this week. I'm whooped. <laughs> Thanks. Good job. Good job. That's tiring. It's 
much better in the daylight because then you can like really see your fish. We made it back safely. As you can see, we're here at the house and we rode back in the dark, so there's not much there to film. But um, yeah, we had a very long day. We were there at the bridge earlier on our boat with not much luck. And then we weren't able to get Jessica her first tarpon ever. She did get to fight two fish and they both broke off within a couple minutes of fighting them, unfortunately. But um, the second fish she hooked was very smart and actually took, ran out and then ran back to the bridge, went underneath like two pylons and then jumped on the other side and broke off. So that fish has probably been caught before. And then we were trying to mark the fish and the, mark, the fish kind of just seemed to have left the area and there was a, a front coming through as well so I think the pressure dropped and the fish just decided to take off so um, our trip is over but it was epic totally got worn out by that big tarpon and um, once again I want to say to all you guys that yeah we've been doing a lot of tarpon fishing I haven't caught a whole lot of tarpon in my life that was actually the seventh tarpon ever that I've hooked and officially caught ever in my life um, so um, you know, <laughs> I'm enjoying it for right now, but hopefully we'll switch up things tomorrow in our next video. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. There won't be any tarpon in there. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.